Hello everyone, welcome to s another episode of Second Life's Travels, and I have a new uh, viewer that you probably saw in the other episode as well, the uh, Phoenix Firestorm. And I decided to try it specifically for this uh, video, and um, I ran through it and I liked it a lot. Uh, this place is called Further Along the Path. It is a sequel to The Path, which is closed as you can see here. There is a little ball that shows a video, I'm assuming, but we're not going to take a look at that. We're going to go and take a look at the uh, sequel, since uh, that's what's here. All these people are the artist of Further Along the Path, and uh, we are going to go ahead and take a look at this massive ball of text here. Further along the path is an immersive project based around the exquisite corpse concept sometimes used by surrealists. Essentially, each artist adds to a composition in sequence. Eight artists were invited to stand upon one of eight different colored boxes I had set up. Once all had chosen a box to stand on, a chart was read which listed the order of colors, which would di dictate the order by which the artist would create a scene for the narrative. So, for example, if red was first on the chart, then the artist standing on the red cube would begin the narrative. If, a blue next, if blue were next, then the artist on the blue cube would continue the narrative. After seeing the dialogue written by the artist on the red cube who began the story, the artist who goes first composes the initial start to a narrative. They then pass on this segment onto the artist next on the list. That artist would write up a continuation of the narrative and pass it on to the third artist. This will continue until reaching the eighth and final artist below is the random number of random order of artists by scene. Glyph Graves Param 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 Pop Alpha Aura Brino Aburon Anamora at Palinos Ogaji I don't even know how to pronounce that. Yuxhax and Rami Nayar, Ub, Eeb, Yufu. I would like to thank the artists involved for the hard work put into this build. It was a great pleasure to work with them. Further along the path, blah, blah, and stuff you don't need to worry about. The only thing you need to know for this build is that the teleporter is the teleport. Touch the telephone and you're ready to move on to the next scene. I also have a note card which has the teleports because sometimes, especially on a particular one, it likes to jettison me five miles up into the sky at random over uh, the Lee one parcel, so I'm going to have that just in case that happens again. As the gray fog get, okay. as the gray fog of sleep sleep clears from your mind, elements of reality seep into your con consciousness, and parallel awareness also grows that isn't that this isn't it. Changes all around. More to the point, it's growing within. The current form it knew with certainty was not its final form. On the ground, scattered and free, my limbs move, hugging the earth tight. A round of scattered vegetative repose, I lay reclined, dreaming. Uh, is that the phone? Yes, I do believe that is the phone. I, an avatar of the scene before, an avatar of plants, earthworms, and sculptures, drawn from my rest by your concerns. Right, it's moving. When you have explored here, find the phone and follow, each separate like ponds in a stream, like buds a branch like the moments in your life. All rich of possibility, this begins one and sets you on the path.
This is about an avatar of the inanimate and in animated ritual. All pieces that make up the scene avatar morph from the bits you see around you. Background music is composed and generated by swan butterflies and discs. They map their rotation to sets by of notes. The discs map your rotation. A path story. Somnolent Repose by Glyph Graves. Okay, the phone's over there. These plants are... They're, like, glowing. I'm still kind of, like... Kind of in the amazement of seeing how these things glow and stuff from this, uh, viewer. Go ahead and continue. Coming closer, the tower proves to be made of light, and as this realization sinks in, everything else grows dark. So dark that you can only see the glow. There is an inviting bridge stretching towards the middle. You walk and watch the lights above. Suddenly, your feet lose support and you fall. But to your surprise, down here, the place is friendly. Friendlier. The darkness stays above, and you can see yourself again, as well as some figures emerging from the radiant puddles. I wonder if they... This is awesome. So I guess we have to follow the story and head towards that giant light in the middle. And if we do that, it's probably going to... What? Shall we take the phone? Whoa! Things have gotten a little, uh, odd here. They're speaking it in unknown tongues, however... Well, here's the phone, so I guess there was no trouble in finding it here. In search of these batteries, you arrive in an enclosed space of gold, black, and silver. There are a lot of humanoid forms, f forms around you, but when looking closer, you realize that they have all been petrified by some point in their movement. However, despite the fact that they cannot move, they seem to be able to speak in tongues and a semic language, which is sometimes seen and sometimes heard. However, it cannot be understood. Although you cannot understand what they are saying, nonetheless, you sense that what they are trying to tell you is that boundaries may become frozen, that the quest should be towards flu fluidity and change, then staying here will in the end petrify you, just like they are. Now, this one's the one that tends to throw me somewhere, so... Yeah, just like that. That time I was ready for it. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. Because it takes you to the right spot, but then it just jettisons you over in a parcel that's not even in this area. I'm assuming that's what happened to the two other people that were just here. They probably weren't prepared like I was. 
As petrification begins to slow your body, a glimpse of a past suddenly materializes when you, within your mind, the chaos of a home falling to pieces as memories stand motionless within its rage. The color and weight of a world influencing the dark formlessness of your present. This memory fades. Oh, this is neat. The house is like forming up around me. What? Yeah, I don't want to find out if I can fall into the water. I hear the phone. You seem to be watching TV of some sort. Okay, is there a way out of here, or... Wait, here it is. You seem to be standing on a... Manta Ray? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, the phone, and everything's falling apart around me again. Okay, that's not where I was supposed to be taken. I think that's the last troublesome one. I think. If I remember correctly, it was. And a new awareness of a great dark space where objects are able to float in peace with some finding a much desired hypothesis. Apothesis? Apothesis? I don't know. Three stairways appear leading to secret rooms for th that promise either expulsion from the world or the next step on the path. A strange new existence is taking shape. Okay, sorry about this, but this is about to get really, really laggy in a second. Okay, I moved far enough away from it to where it didn't completely sh yeah, like that. It's like a whole bunch of gas. And if I stare directly at it, it's like a lag machine, so I'm not gonna... Paths seem to be taking shape here. Although they take shape slow. So I'm gonna cheat and just jump over some of them. What? Eh, no. Two paths lead to death, and one will show me the way. Just like that. And here we are at the next area.
Okay. <laughs> Your piano seems to be radioactive, sir. We will not be held responsible for any hearing impairments or damage caused to you from excessive exposure to this sound. What? Yep, I'm walking applause. <laughs> I found this out the last time I was here and I thought this was just the neatest thing ever. I don't know what that is. I just stopped it, whatever it was. I don't know if I can move faster like this. Yeah, I don't think it will let me. And down below seems to be, uh, like, broken newspaper and stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and find a way back inside and look for the telephone. And the controls get inverted when you're upside down, which is kind of confusing if it suddenly just inverts itself like that. Okay, I could probably just stand and... Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that was weird. Well, this is the ring, so let's go ahead and use this. Oh, hello. Glowing thing in the middle of nowhere. I think I see the telephone a little bit ways off over here. Giant bicycle. This got really dark. Hmm. Ah, there's the next part of the story. Oh, we never saw the other part of the story for the other part. Darn it, I didn't see a thing there. Dawn is rising and the limits of the island appear to be reduced. And the figure of a stranger emerges. In the distance, the outline of a city, the wind is blowing ever more strong and the chimes begin to ring. Searching seems to be the best solution. A window opens and closes... Or, window opens and shows. Uh, I should really... Make sure I see what the last word is before I say it. Oh. I'm underwater now. Huh. Oh, there's the phone. Well, that's easy. Let's take a look at what's going on around here. There are birds and bubbles being held by ropes underwater. I'm hearing a splashing, but I don't know what's causing it. Uh oh, must be that. 
thing. Actually, he's not making any noise. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why my avatar does that. Just sits sideways on it. Follow the fish. And there's a path here. Following the fish. Do, 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 do. Okay. There seem to be pictures raining from the sky. I'm not sure exactly what the pictures are because they're a little bit hard to make out as they're so transparent. Yeah. Is that some sort of track or something? I'm not sure. I see a hand. And we've rised above out of the water. Ah, there's the story. The best way to travel through time are dreams. You can see your own soul with deep within the um uh Where are they going? Uh, see Come on. <laughs> I can't even read the next part of the story. Well, there's the phone. I only got to read about, like, a quarter of it. What is this? Oh. You can see your own soul deep within that world playing with Earth. Many images emerge, then fade, and it's a dark and stormy night again. I bet it's just a nightmare. Okay, yeah, he's playing with the earth here. Let's use the phone. Oh. That's a lot of phones just sort of chilling out. And that is the end, folks. That is the further along the path. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.